At today's House Oversight Committee hearing, conservative firebrand Jim Jordan exploded at his Democratic peers, calling their claims about various controversial intel-related stories false and unfair. Jordan turned his ire toward the ongoing Hunter Biden investigation and the response to the laptop story by Democrats and intelligence operatives during the run-up to the 2020 election, citing claims that the laptop was Russian disinformation, which would later be proven false Jordan demanded answers pertaining to the president's son. Republicans have sought to make Hunter Biden's personal and professional controversies a centerpiece of their attacks on the president. They have pledged to set up committees to investigate Hunter Biden should they retake Congress. I now recognize Representative Jordan. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I just want to set the record straight. Earlier, our colleague from Virginia said Republicans have manufactured investigations. So again, I want to set the record straight. Lois Lerner targeted conservatives. That's not Ranking Member Comer saying that. That's not Jim Jordan saying that. That's not Republicans saying that. That was the Inspector General at the Treasury Department saying that. The Democrats, specifically Hillary Clinton, tried to misinform, mislead the American people about the tragedy that happened in Benghazi. Here's what she said just days after that tragedy. Some have sought to justify this vicious behavior as a response to inflammatory material on the internet. She tried to blame it on a video. John Koskinen, who came in to, quote, fix up the IRS, he actually destroyed backup tapes that were under a preservation order. Republicans haven't manufactured anything. Democrats certainly have when it comes to President Trump. Democrats targeted President Trump. They lied to the FISA court. They altered evidence in front of the FISA court. Again, not ranking member Comer doing that, saying that. This, this was the Inspector General at the Justice Department, Mr. Horowitz. They did all that. We know they, spy, they did it all to do what? To spy on President Trump's campaign. They had a, the Washington Post wrote about this, that, that the FBI had someone posing as somebody else bump into Papadopoulos in Europe. You know what they call that? When someone pretends to be somebody else and they're being paid by the FBI to bump into someone associated with this campaign? You know what they call that? Spying. That's what they did. And this all led to Jim Comey leaking the memos to create momentum to get the special counsel, which they got, Robert Mueller, two years, 19 lawyers, 40 FBI agents, $30 million later. What did they find? Not a darn thing. And he says Republicans manufacture things. They manufacture, they're still doing it. Seven years they've been going after President Trump. We just want to do the legitimate investigations, and this is certainly one. How do we know? Because last spring, the Washington Post did two articles, March 20th, 30th, excuse me, this, this spring, two articles, eight-page articles, four minutes apart, talking about the Hunter, lap, uh, Hunter Biden laptop as being real and his connections with Chinese companies. This is as real as it gets, so I guess the real question is, what are the Democrats afraid of? We're just asking for information. We're not asking for anything, just, just give us the facts. We want to know the communicate. we want the information. That's all we're asking for. And it's kind of important when you think about what happened in 2020. What happened in 2020? 51 former Intel agents misled the country when they signed the letter saying the Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation. No, it wasn't. The, the Washington Post told us so March 30th of this year. Oh, and what else happened? The FBI went to Facebook and said, hey, you might want to be on the lookout for Russian disinformation, wink, wink. Don't, don't talk about this story. And what else happened? Maybe the most important thing. We had whistleblowers go to Senator Grassley and say that FBI agents, specifically Timothy Tebalt, suppressed evidence about the Hunter Biden, Biden family operation just days and weeks before the most important election we have, a presidential election. And so what we have in front of the committee today is simply, let's, let's just get the information. Let's let the, after the American people were lied to prior to the 2020 election about this story, why not let them have the truth now? It's two years too late to have an impact on the most important election we have in our nation. Two years too late, but at least we should get it. And Democrats say, no, no, no. Let's just call, let's just say that Republicans do things that are, that, that, that are manufactured investigations when in fact they're not because the Inspector General at Treasury, the Inspector General at Justice have all said they were legitimate investigations where they did wrong things. We're simply asking for information. And you guys know we can't do it. We can't do it. We're not going to do it. 
We're going to defend Joe Biden no matter what, even though all the evidence is there, even though the Washington Post, your favorite newspaper, said so this past spring. This is a good resolution. We should do it. I can't believe the Democrats are opposing it. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. Uh, the gentleman